Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Plague Inc. Evolved. Already, when we left off, we had attempted to do the fungus run uh, campaign, either way you want to really phrase it, and uh, because of some of the genes we put on as kind of a lark, uh, it didn't actually go the way I kind of hoped it would. So here's hoping taking some of those out will allow it to work a little better. Uh, increasing the chance of plague spreading by land is actually probably good, but it seems a little cheaty, so we're going to clear that out for now. Uh, we're going to try and do this just absolutely without extra gene modification, uh, just to see if we can do it just based on the merits of it alone kind of wanted to do it with the genes to see how it would play out. Uh, I didn't anticipate the Darwinist uh, gene becoming as much of a hassle as it was. So, we're not going to stay with hyperdeath. Global discharge. <laughs> Terminal dark. Focal deficit. Panic aching. Gangrene disorder. Terminals... Terminostomy? I don't fucking know. Wasting Assassin. Okay, sure, let's go with that. The Wasting Assassin. Alright, so we will continue from Egypt. Like we have been. Wasting Assassin begins in Egypt. Find it hard to travel long distances, so you must evolve fungal spore abilities to infect new countries. That is true that we do we are currently at three all right cool we're just going to slowly evolve as we are wont to do and uh gonna... lemur for toilet paper inhumane no shit it's inhumane Toilet paper. Really? Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Okay. Computer games industry growing in UK. Well. Miniature black hole. Not a concern. Sure. Whatever you say. Alright. So. Let's see if we can uh, work on the transmission a bit. There we go. All right. Five times as many... Five times as many people over 100 by 2030. That'd be nice. I mean, if that was for real, that'd be nice. It's not. All right. So, at the world stage, we are only at... Well, we are now infecting hundreds, so there's that at least. Move on to air... I uh, should probably evolve coughing just to help with the infectivity. But I'm going to keep it at that. Doubts raised over war on drugs. Yeah! A little! That have existed, well, since the fucking thing started. Because it's a load of horse pocket. Mankini, not funny, says <laughs> Kazak Professor. Well, I mean, insomnia isn't a mutated. I didn't want that. Why are you mutating things I don't want you to have? At least you refund me the point. Save $521 million a year, smoke-free subsidized housing. <laughs> I... I live in a smoke-free house in apartment complex, so, I mean, pop singer told to shake it off. Shake it off, shake it off. Uh, fucking. Japan avoids fiscal meltdown. Yay! 
That's good. Politician claims that ignorance better than knowledge. <laughs> I wonder which politician said that. Huh? Eh? I think I know. Rio Olympics mystery. Hey, it's spreading to the Middle East without much help in that regard. More infectious than TB. We are currently in the millions. Good, good. Now let's help transmission in birds. Just evolve that further and that should help with the land transmission that way. There we go. Now we're starting to infect more of Africa. Okay. Sneezing symptom mutated. I didn't want sneezing. Although it does help a little bit. I'll, I'll leave it. Helps with the infectivity and that's the only reason I'm not touching it. Oh, no. Damn it. You already figured it out. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. New disease spotted in Egypt. Well... I can't really help the uh, spread any further, so I'll add that. And I guess this would be a good thing to invest in. Oh, we end up in South America. Good. Good. As long as we're in South America there, we can start spreading to the other countries relatively quickly. This Plague Simulator game goes viral. It's huge viral success. Gamers worldwide are giving it rave reviews. Well, I mean, you're not wrong. I do love the fuck out of this game, so I would do that too. Oh, now it's picking up. Now it's picking up. Now we're getting somewhere. Medicine in UK slowing infection. Damn it, I don't want a fever. That is not something I need. I do not need the lethality anywhere. Alright. Spore burst again. New Zealand! Okay. Not what I expected, but I'll take it. Rio Olympics back on. Oh. Oh, it's gonna help me here. Oh, it's going to help me here. Infect Brazil. It should never have gone ahead. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Well, there goes Bolivia. Bye, Bolivia. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We're starting to... Starting to move around now. All right. Uh. Uh. Should probably keep working for transmission methods, and maybe eventually I'll get onto boats this way. underestimating us still for right now which as long as that holds we have a chance oh well that boat went to it where it's already infected so it doesn't help me much there we go doing good let's speed it up a little bit shall we So it might not have been Darwinist that screwed me over. It might have been just 
the problem of letting... Oh, no. It did it already. God. Turkey starts cure research. Damn it. Oh, but it's... It is infecting way faster than I could ever worry about. It is spreading so fast. I, I, I feel like I barely have to worry. But I'm going to continue spreading it elsewhere. Uh, adding some drug resistance and some cold resistance should help a little bit more. USA president taken ill. Oh no! President is ill with wasting assassin. Well, I mean... It's got sass assassin in the name. What did they expect? Okay. So, uh, the cysts guess that's fine as long as it's as long as it still gets underestimated we should be fine Central Asia starts cure research okay okay um, going for another spore burst all right Fever. Again. Again with the fever. Again with the fever. I do not want lethality introduced yet. Placed on watch list. Well, that's going to mean they speed it up a little bit. Alright, all, all I have to do... All I have to do... Leading the cure effort. Damn it. All I have to do is wait for it to hit fucking Greenland. All I want is for it to go into Greenland. Australia shuts down airports. Damn it. Already starting... Already starting to focus on getting rid of transmission pathways. Damn it. Spore burst. All right. Experimental cure for wasting assassin lethal. Okay, that sets it back. Good. Good, that makes it easier for me. Now I just have to wait for Greenland to get infected at some point. At some point, a boat has to go over. It's 25% complete. Damn it. Okay, now we're in Greenland. Now we're in business. All right. I think... Yes. We're at the point. We're at the point that no countries are not infected. Now it's simply waiting for the rest of the population to get infected. And I don't feel like I need to go for any more... any more uh, transmission abilities. I just have to wait for the countries to eventually hit peak infection on its own. The only holdout right now is Greenland, which is slowly taking over. Iceland issues pandemic alert. Heavy flooding in Caribbean. I think we're almost there. We're there. Now I can focus on the symptoms. Adding lethality slowly but surely. Immune suppression. Total organ failure. There are no healthy people left in the world. And soon enough... Won't be any alive people left in the world. Killed more than the Black Death. Killed more than Spanish flu. Global research is focused on cure, but at this rate, it's only a matter of time.
before there's not enough people to operate the machinery to figure out the cure. Pulmonary fibrosis. Okay. Can't really do much in the way of causing lethality to up other than going into coma. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Systemic infection. That'd be the last killing blow I need. And now I have enough. At this point, I don't even need to do anything. I just wait for death to come. Governments are falling. Humanity is exterminated. I don't even know why I'm doing it for that one. Uh, add a couple more. Why not? Internal hemorrhaging. After I already added tumors. Uh, hemophilia adds to the severity. And goodbye, humanity. Just fast forward it. Let's make it quick, shall we? Life has been exterminated. Took a little longer than some of the other ones. Took about, math-wise doing it, about three years. Just shy of three years. Win a game with fungus on normal difficulty or higher. And I didn't even need any cheating genes. I let, I, I think the first time I let the death, I let the death symptoms evolve too quickly. I have to wait, I have to wait for the sweet spot. The sweet spot where almost no one else could possibly, possibly avoid getting infected. Ooh, the ATP boost gene type and the Nurax worm plague type have been discovered and unlocked. Nurax worm. Manipulative organism that burrows into the brain. Oh, I see. The Nurax worm is what will control people. Oh, I thought I muted my computer. <laughs> well, I'll fix that in just a second. And my chair is going to squeak the entire time. That's fine. It's whatever. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Let's see how the Neurax worm operates. And we get ATP boost, which I believe is the first gene which gives me bonus DNA at the beginning. Eh, don't need the extra cheaty. Don't need the extra cheaty. What shall we name it? Bubonic deficit. Exophage. That kind of sounds cool. Cella Crazy Chuckle. Medium box. What? Okay. Chemo poison. Blight disaster. Pussing madness. Ugh. Hazardous rash. Silent delicious. Okay. Hyper bulge. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm going with it. You must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. All right. It's infected at first human. Weak but used to hot temperatures. Okay. I discovered for thousands of years. Now humans have entered its natural habitat and given it the means to spread.
Nurex Worm emerges. Okay, well. Insurgency continues in Middle East. Well, I mean, as we keep irking them on, yeah, it's going to do that. Evolution history, yeah. Oh. Oh, it changes a lot. Trojan Plains. Whoa. Manipulation of dopamine transporters results in a form of ADHD, which encourages hosts to fly to a target country. Hmm. Oh, so that's how it operates. It attaches to the top of the brain. Mission. Let's go with infectivity. The Nurex worm produces eggs that are ejected from the host brain in the thousands, increasing infectiousness. Whoa. Whoa. Ability to grip with portions of the body while pulling and pushing other sections allow faster movement outside of host, increasing infectivity. Okay, worms become a food source for birds, but many survive in the digestive tract, allowing increased transmission. Worm eggs attach themselves to insects, causing increased infectiousness, especially in hot climates. I will have to go for rodent next. I evolved it a lot. I evolved it a fuck ton. Stem cell treatments for all a decade away. Well. If humanity survives that long, that'd be a, that'd be a possibility for sure. Alright. Let's add it to rodents. Genetic swap. Hmm. Won't help as much. Eggs hatch when they experience an increase in warmth, likely due to nearby human activity, greatly increasing infection. Alrighty. The neural breach doesn't actually cost all that much when it comes to... Huh. Seems the n pandemic danger exaggerated. <laughs> a global pandemic only has a 2.5% chance of wiping out humanity. Well, we've discovered if it was a virus or a uh, fungus, and if I'm controlling it, it goes real fast. Hyperbulge goes to Libya. Alright, it's already picking up steam. Yeesh. Let us do a Trojan plane, because there's an achievement tied to that. Alright. Germany, business as usual. Well, for now. Uh, there we go. E Egypt, business as usual. Uh... Medical research. Oh, you can actually look into how much they've spent on the cure. Oh, I can pop the bubble and then click the country I want people to travel to. Oh. Oh, that's something. Medicine in USA, slowing infection. Oh, well, of course it is. I haven't evolved drug resistance yet. Now I have. New minor disease spreading. Damn it. Alright. Uh, create a Trojan plane and use it to infect a new country. Wow, it is. It is speeding up so fast. I think some of those I might have missed.
Egypt shuts down airports. Damn it. Uh, Rio, <laughs> Rio Olympics mystery. So I'm still able to fly them out of Egypt, I guess, even though it just shut down the airports. All right, that just popped up on my computer. Yeah, they're back on just as I infected. Disturbing reports of hyperbulge. Theoretically manipulate human thoughts, human thoughts to its advantage. Okay, let's there. So it just allows me to control where they go. The world is still infected massively. Uh, wait, I can just fly it wherever? I don't even, I don't even have to worry about them having an airport? Ooh. That is something. That is something. Wild. More infectious than the common cold. Yeah, someone better hope I can't control something like this. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Very high levels of bird migration expected. Oh, we've been placed on the watch list. Uh-oh. All right. Uh, drug resistance. Now it's time to start working on... It actually decreased the severity doing that? That's weird. Increase the lethality at some point. Looks like some of the higher ones up there. Aphasia. Language impairment makes developing a cure significantly harder. Reduces infectiousness but is extremely hard to cure. Mature tendrils constrict the brainstem and cause a loss of consciousness in the host. Oh. Adoration. Surges of testosterone and estrogen hijack host's emotions and create desire to spread infection. Also gross. <laughs> Alright, let's do that. New Zealand begins to break down. First death in the Middle East. UK may be leading the global cure effort, but that doesn't mean they have hope in hell of actually succeeding. I am doing so much. Hyperbulge is controlling you has the ability to control humans. Science urge scientists urge governments to investigate further. Yeah, about that. Good luck. Russia is not as infected. I want to infect it more. China in anarchy. Well, 25% complete. More than the Spanish flu. Wow. This is not what I expected. This is absolutely not what I expected at all. Devotion. Surges of dopamine and serotonin compel the host to constantly think about the worm and triggers intense rushes of pleasure. Um... Um... Uh, 
excess serotonin production triggered manic episodes lead to increased contact with others and inability to focus. Add to coma. Brain hemorrhage. Tendrils digest brain matter for nutrients, causing complete degeneration and rupture of the cerebral tissue. That boosts lethality intensely. I think I'll wait. I think I'll wait on that. I think I'll wait for now. Global research focused on cure. Canada is not getting infected fast enough. It's starting to be concerning. Oh, wait. Doesn't matter. UK population now worships the... <laughs> Nuclear explosion in Spain. Uh-oh. Poland is not getting infected fast enough. Let's send a plane over there and try and help. Huge earthquake in Norway. The infection is almost complete. I don't even have to worry about... Genetic reshuffle can slow cure. Well, I was going to do that at some point. Okay. Spain is almost completely dead because of that nuclear explosion. Just need to focus more on Poland. Seems to be the only holdout. Every plane affects it further. Zombie attack! Wow. I don't even know where to send them anymore. Like, where do I go? So many of them that are already infected. And it costs DNA to devolve it, so there's no point in trying to devolve it any further. I just need brain hemorrhage. There's no healthy people left in the world. need DNA. East Africa sets up suicide stations. Um. A little extreme, don't you think? Okay, brain hemorrhage. 42. A little over halfway there. Luckily, every plane also seems to get me three DNA. The cure is... The cure is at a standstill. It's been at 73 for an awfully long time. Why would they continue looking for the cure if they're all under my control anyway? Oh, now it's only giving me one point. That sucks. 
Come on, I just want the last piece. The last piece. There. And now they shall start dying in droves. Thing they can do. It's no use. There's no use. There's just no use. nothing I can add to it. It's over. It's over. There's no reason for me to continue. Three years in. The world is controlled. And subsequently wiped out. need to do. I've succeeded. I gotta admit, though, the Nurax Worm seems exceedingly easy. If you are, if you've already succeeded with virus and fungus, the Nurax Worm seems to be the easiest it could possibly be. Maybe it's just because I'm getting better at it, which is a weird thing to be prideful about, <laughs> but I seem to uh, have a feeling of pride on it. I know how to do the DNA points thing, I'm just ignoring it because there's no need. Just slowly watch humanity die. I've succeeded. I don't need to worry about anything else. Well, now four years, but nonetheless. Hyper bulge to destroy humanity. Notice his bulge. What's this? Oh, it's the end of humanity. <sighs> okay. So, I'm gonna end the episode for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. Share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and annihilating humanity with various plagues. First fungus and now the Norax worm. It's rather simple, if you know what you're doing. For you.